it. Welcome to San Francisco's G News, where you get all of your gay in just one day. We bring you the top LGBT stories from the left coast and around the globe. With a unique perspective only our gay bubble can provide. Tube in every week and keep in the know on the latest trends, hot topics, and who's messing with your human rights now. So join us with your hosts, Celsa Boulay and Lisa Cohen. Get all your gay in just one day. From the city by the bay with San Francisco's G News. This week on G News, Kim Davis may have to literally pay for her hate. Could Johnny Depp be Dumbledore's lover? The Navy honors the first woman in space. Gay penguins, Wonder Woman, and Nick Jonas. Plus, out and about in our crush of the week. All of this gay coming your way. Right here on G News. <laughs> Nothing against the bottoms, but this segment is all about the tops. Y'all remember Kim Davis? Who could forget that hair and those eyebrows? <laughs> She's the hateful, hateful woman from Kentucky that refused to marry gay people in her court because she said it was against her religious beliefs. Well, they sued and she went to jail. She got legal support from Liberty Council, which is an anti-LGBT group that gave her money to help her pay for her bills. Well, the governor has since changed the laws in Kentucky and her case was settled. The ACLU of Kentucky said, courts recognize that when successful civil rights plaintiffs obtain a direct benefit from a court-ordered victory, such as in this case, they can be entitled to their legal expenses to deter future civil rights violations by government officials. Kentucky is refusing to pay for her bills because they say she was an elected official, not an employee, so she's on her own. That's right, that means Kim's gonna have to pay almost 300 k The new movie that's coming out soon called Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them stars Eddie Redmayne. I can't wait. Oh my gosh, and J.K. Rollins revealed that Dumbledore is gay. <gasps> oh. Yes. So we're thinking, you know, who's going to be his lover? I don't know, but Johnny Depp just signed on to be part of the project, but to play whom? Fans, including us, are thinking that he might be Greenwald. Wouldn't that be hot? Mm -hmm. He'd be Dumbledore's lover. I know. Oh. Ride, Sally, ride. Y'all remember Sally Ride? She was the first woman in space. Well, the Navy is going to be naming another ship after another trailblazer in the LGBT community. First it was Harvey Milk, and now it's gonna be Sally Ride. Sally Ride made history in 1983 as the first woman in space, and now the Navy is honoring this great American in another first. Oceanic research ships have traditionally been named after male explorers, but have never been named after a woman. Until, Until now. now. Happy, Happy anniversary! anniversary. Dottie and Z, the gay penguins from the Bremenhama Zoo in Germany. Yes, they met 10 years ago, and of course, as you know, penguins mate for life. And they saw, they were like, hey, hey. how you doing? And they've been together. So the zoologists th had to do like a DNA test to find out that they were two male. Because they're not having any kids. I'm like, you're not procreating. What's going on here? What's, What's up? going on? Why are you looking at other eggs? So they found out they were two male, and they inserted all these females in there, and then they were like, no. Mm -mm. What you doing? No. Are they here to cook? We like each other. <laughs> Go away. We like track lighting. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> lots and lots of glitter. <laughs> and lots and lots of glitter. Anyway, so the zoo obviously recognized it, and of course they kept them together, and, and uh, fantastic. Happy anniversary. Happy and they're anniversary. so cute. Yeah. If you could come back as something, I would like to come back as a, as a penguin. Oh, I bet. Wouldn't that be fun? You get like a gay penguin, or just... Well, I would hope it'd be a gay penguin. <laughs> Just checking. My gosh, that'd be a that'd be a shocker. You're a penguin, but you're straight. <laughs> Wonder Woman. I love Wonder Woman. I grew up idolizing her. I'm of the age that I remember the TV show. <laughs> what you trying to say? Linda uh, Carter can do no wrong. Oh my gosh, Ambassador Carter now. Excuse me. Oh us. yes, she's Ambassador Carter. We just watched the most recent trailer for the movie that's coming out. She's hot. So amazing. Oh my gosh. I cannot wait. Gal Gadot. So uh, Hot woman. we put the trailer down below so you guys can see it if you haven't seen it already and enjoy it with us. I cannot wait. Chris Pine. Need I say more? Chris Pine. Oh my gosh, Chris Pine. Jeez. <sighs> I want to be Wonder Woman just so I can be with Chris Pine. <gasps> Wonder Woman's coming up. We can't wait. When, when it comes, I, we're going to go together. Oh my I gosh, think we should this. like feature this live. We should Done. go to it. Show live. our tickets, walk in. Are you going to dress as Wonder Woman with me? 
in the outfit, maybe. Okay. The, the head thing. Sure. She, she just. <laughs> but you know I'm gonna make her do it. Nick Jonas has recently posted something on Instagram. He's been posting a lot of his like workout stuff on Instagram. So we just want to say thank, thank you. you. <laughs> I mean, you just hit play and he's doing. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> How's he doing it? His <laughs> weight things yeah. and he's like all ripply and all half naked. And... He is hotter than Georgia asphalt and I am happy for it. His torso is just perfect. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Nick. It's that time. Let's go out and about in San Francisco. This week's out and about takes us to the stud here in San Francisco. I love the stud. For a monthly party called Go Bang. And I'm just sitting here smiling because I love the DJ Sergio. Oh, uh, Sergio is He's divine. really cute. I have a crush so on him. Cute. So cute. He's adorable. He's, he is adorable. You were in the booth. And a super talented DJ. Yes, of course I was in the booth. You get in the booth. Girl, I, I know places. the guy and you got in the booth. Anyway, I, I get places. I digress. <laughs> <laughs> it's like 70s, 80s, 90s music all together. Um, it's just fantastic. Uh, Vanessa Pousset is there. Ooh. Undercover. Yeah, see if you can find. Yeah, see, see if, if you, you can, can find, find Vanessa. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's so much fun, though. Yeah. Yeah. And our bartender was great. Oh, Bernsey. Oh, Bernsey. <gasps> so if you go, say hi to Bernsey and tell her we sent you. She'll hook you up, she'll but you'll you still pay. Well, she'll. You get an in. Yeah. Hey, the rest is on you. <laughs> is that your heart beating? No, it's our crush of the week. <laughs> this week's crush is very special. We're talking about Cleve Jones. He is a trailblazer, prominent here in San Francisco, significant in the history of, of LGBT uh, people all over the world. Can I, can I say icon? Yes, it's definitely icon? an icon. Cleve Jones is living history. He's here in San Francisco. If you get a t an opportunity to meet him and, and get his company, cherish it. What you also can do is you can get his book when it comes out, or you can yes. order it in advance on Amazon. It's called When We Rise, and it's a memoir. Um, it's Cleve's memoir. He, he's starting from the Har Harvey Milk into the present day, and what's exciting for me is that he cast me in his miniseries, which I thought was really awesome. Yes, it's going to be on TV. I believe it's on ABC, but double check. One of the most amazing qualities about Cleve that I personally like is he's difficult. Oh, yeah. He's really opinionated and kind of strong about oh, that. Absolutely. And unabashed about what he has to say. Hillary Clinton had a stroke, died, came back as a zombie and ate my family. I would still vote for her over Donald Trump. He, he's in your face and he's going to tell you what he thinks. Um, if you don't want to know, don't ask. Yeah. And, and, I, and I love that. Yes. He's truth. Honest. Yes. So for lots of reasons, he's our crush of the week. Just, Just look, look at, at him. him. Well, that's it for this week's G News, the only show where you get all of your gay in just one day with your host, Celsa Vule and Lisa Cohen. Remember to subscribe and share. We'll see you next week. The Navy honors the first woman in space. <laughs> There's Tori. I was so concentrated on. I'm glad it was great. Oh my god. <laughs> Happy birthday, Dottie and Happy Z. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary, not birthday. <laughs> you know, I need a little more excitement in this clacker crap. Oh, really? Yeah. It's lacking excitement for you, is it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I was afraid. You did a little flourish. I was afraid. Rolling. No, I don't want to break oh, anything. Do... I was going to do it, but now I'm like... Do it one more time. I'm saying... <laughs> Ooh, it just got saucy. Bye. Bye. Bye, Lisa. Like I was doing. Bye. Bye. Bye, yeah, bye. Yeah, bye girl. <laughs>